Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke Kate and today I will be reviewing, unboxing the Boxy Charm Boxy Luxe Box. I'm probably saying that 10 times fast. I haven't gotten my base box yet, so when that comes, I might be reviewing that. We'll see. Sometimes it's a little disappointing. But today is my first unboxing video of Boxy Charm. So let's get started. She's a Mama Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Must be something bad features. You found the beauty goes with So let's open her up. Okay, and already you see it says Boxy Charm Lux. Ooh, luxurious. And boy, is it heavy. So I'm I'm a little excited. <sighs> Sorry guys. I'm really excited because I've wanted this palette for so long and I haven't picked it up so I'm, I'm so excited I have it. It is the Tardius Pro Amazonian Clay Palette but it's high performance neutrals so oh we are definitely going to try that. I'm excited. Next we have a lip pencil two pack by uh, Body O- Body O- Body O- Body O- Am I saying that way? Body O Graphy. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I I'm not sure. Okay, but I got a lip pencil, and I actually need a lip pencil. So, well, I need lip pencils. We'll see what colors these are. The thing that always worries me about lip pencils is like, I feel like I need to buy it at the same time as the lipstick. Otherwise, how do I know if it matches? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, we got a really dark burgundy color. And wow, this is an actual pencil. It's a really dark burgundy if you can see which i have a lot of lipsticks in that shade so that's gonna be useful and then let's see this one this is more like a brownie nude ooh, ooh, ooh. i think i have a lipstick color in that shade too it's a nice color nice nude we'll definitely be trying that a little later mm -hmm. and <gasps> I actually got a card. And I already see the first thing and I'm really salty, but okay. So this first one is the Tardius Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. Prepare for an expression explosion. Being passionate about pigment, the sequel to the OG Pro Palette came to play. This rich, vibrant, 20 shade superstar was formulated to celebrate all forms of art and expression. It's ready to rock your world and remix yourself. And it's retailed for $49. Lip pencils. Okay, pouty and rosewood, those are the colors. Antioxidant lip pencils that glide on like your favorite lipstick with precise, pigment-rich color to frame, fill, and define lips, enriched with coconut oil and vitamin E and these retail at $28. And the reason why I did that is because the first thing I saw on the list was Kylie, Kylie skin, which I've heard about you. Yeah, I've heard you don't work. <laughs> Kylie skin, um, enjoy $5 off your next KylieSkin.com order. I will not be using that unless it's amazing. Who knows? I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. So Kylie skin by Kylie Jenner. Um, I have a foaming face wash. And so here's the Kylie Skin Face Wash. It's a foaming face wash. We sold this at Ulta when I worked there. It seems to work like a regular face wash. I guess that's cool. I mean, I've always wanted to try it, but I've watched a lot of videos about it online and it doesn't look like it works. Yeah, okay. like some of them hurt my face. Yes. The next thing is, oh my gosh. I'm excited. Touch and Soul Prime Essence. I've always wanted to try this. Touch and Soul No No Pore Blum Prime Essence. Prime Essence is for anyone looking to take their makeup routine to the next level. This formula is enhanced with, I'm not reading that, flower extracts to minimize pores and smooth skin texture. Use it on its own or pair it with No Pore Blum Primer to create the perfect blank canvas for your next color look. Okay, I thought this was the primer. Okay, it's not the primer. It's just just a prime essence. At the last step of skincare, apply a moderate amount and gently pat over the skin until it fully absorbs. Okay, well, what else? Next thing, a Tula. I, I've tried Tula before and I, I, like, I like their products a lot. Ooh, so this is a glow and get it, cooling and brightening eye balm. I might actually give this to my husband. He needs it more than I do. But yes, an eye balm. I'm excited to try this. Apply directly to the eye area under makeup. Reapply throughout the day for an instant pick-me-up. Nice, nice. I like that brand a lot. Now we're gonna do Swell, which 
was swell. Ooh, okay. <gasps> okay, so I got a stainless steel bottle. I'm really excited about this. These, these things are expensive. Oh my gosh, and this is my aesthetic. It's black and white like wood. Oh, I will definitely be using this. Maybe for water, maybe not. Hot for 12 hours, cold for 24 hours. And then after that billion dollar brows, ooh, oh! Billion dollar brows brush set. I love me a brush set, and this is a five piece brush set. Although, five piece brush set for brows? What are y'all doing? Billion dollar brows. Um, According to this, the brand is actually billion dollar brushes, but okay. Um, so yes, let's see, we got five brushes here. We got a powder brush, we got a contour brush, which I really need a new one of those. A concealer brush, ooh, I really need a new one of those an eyeshadow brush and a highlighter brush. I love brushes, I never get enough, so I'm down. And then last but not least, ooh, we got pore heels and it's a sleeping mask. I love, love, love masks. I'm not a huge fan of sleeping masks, but I love this brand and I've always wanted to try it. Use instead of cream at the end of your daily skincare regimen. Leave on overnight and rinse off in the morning. Can be used as, can be used at night every day. Go. And it's got honey, full nourishment and glowing skin for tired skin while you sleep. Nice. Okay, I'm excited about this. This is this is heavy. This is why it was so heavy. Okay, not bad, not bad. I am already more happy with this than the base box, which I still haven't gotten yet for this month, but gotten in the past and it's like, it's okay. But let's actually try some of these bad boys out, shall we? So honestly, the only real things I can try out are these things. So the no pore bloom, even this, the eye, the brightening eye balm, you probably won't even see if it'll work or not, but I will apply it before my makeup. And then the Tardius Pro palette, the lip pencils and the brush set. So without further ado, let's get started with trying these products that we got. So I already went ahead and I applied my primer. Now I'm going to do this priming essence. Ooh, oh, it's a nice bottle. I've always wanted to try this brand Touch and Soul, so I'm excited. I am bursting with excitement. This must be a new product because I've actually never seen this priming essence, and wow, it is extremely liquidy. I thought it would be a little thicker like a serum, but it is very liquidy and easy to apply, and it smells nice, you know? It always kind of stinks when you have to put something smelly on your face, so it's nice that it smells nice. And wow, looks nice, and now I'm just gonna I'll also apply my cooling and brightening eye balm by Tula. Where are the directions? How do I use this? Two hours later. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know how they got so cold, but it is really cold and it is so not cold outside, but wow. Okay. This cooling effect feels amazing. It kind of reminds me of Skin Iceland eye patches that I have, which obsessed. That felt really nice. I would definitely use that again in the future. future. Okay. Now I'm just going to apply my foundation and then we'll dig into this palette. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, contour my face using these brand new brushes by Billion Dollar Brushes. They look luxurious. These are retail for $55. Okay, uh, yeah, I would never spend that much money. Jeez, now I see why they're called million dollars. But let's see if they're amazing. I mean, who knows? <laughs> They are very soft on the face, that is for sure. At least this contour brush that I'm using. Which I gotta say, I, I don't know if I would use this one again. I really like precise lines when I'm doing this, especially on my cheeks. Like this, this is a mess. This is not bad. This is a mess. <laughs> Work nicely. I'm going to do some powder. I've been really into this um, Ciate um, Everyday Vacay setting powder. It smells like coconuts, and I love coconuts. <music> Baking has kind of become my new thing. Baking my face, not like actually cooking. I can't do that. Unless it's like a mix. I got that. I can follow a brownie mix. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm going to blend the powder using the powder brush with this side. Wow, this is a really soft brush. Okay, so we just did some contouring. I'm not crazy about the contour brush, but this powder brush is really nice. It's super soft and it's not like too big. Like I feel like I could actually dip it in powder if I wanted to. But now I'm gonna use the highlight brush to do some highlight. I know, crazy concept. I feel like this is a little too small for me personally for a highlight brush unless it's for my nose. So we got our face done. We're looking like a million bucks. Low key, this is kind of like the best job I've ever done with contouring. Who knows if it's a brush, if it's just maybe the fact that I have learned from my mistakes. Now what I'm really excited about is to use the Tardius Pro palette. I honestly love these things that they put within the palettes, like all these different eye looks. Like I actually use some of these sometimes because I'm not that creative. This is what the palette looks like. It smells really good. And it looks super pretty. I'm excited. There's a lot of shades going on. They seem to have like all of the um, shimmer shades on the side. And then all of the matte shades are in the middle squares. So why not use the eyeshadow brush first? And I'm going to use a transition shade. And I think I'm going to use Chic. This palette literally smells like chocolate and that's kind of like Too Faced's thing, so I'm a little confused. And this shade is like a hair darker than my skin tone. I think I'm going to keep it, I'm, I wanna do kind of like a neutral brown look, so I'm going to use Veggie. These colors are blending quite nicely and they are super pigmented. I actually forgot to use eye primer, but wow, looks as though I don't even need it with this guy because I have my cheap tape concealer. Okay, now I'm gonna deepen it up even more with Smoked. Like a cute smoky eye look and then I'm also going to use it underneath okay so now I'm going to cut the crease and guess what I'm going to use the concealer brush to cut the crease because what else it's actually like really good for cutting the crease look at the precision We have cut the crease with our fabulous new concealer brush. Um, I don't know about you, but I want to try out these shimmer shades below. And I'm going to go into glam. me um this look at least reminds me of tardis and bloom probably because it's the same brand so overall really like that palette i mean i love the i love tart so i always wanted to try that palette and now i'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows do some eyeliner and then we will try out those lip pencils so now I'm going to try out this liner, this lip liner. I tried to match it up on my arm and I think this NYX lip lingerie is going to go best with it. It's French made. Let's give it a shot. Okay, 
so there's the lip liner. I think it should just walk out like this. And wow, this matches really well. Lip on his arm, sunshine every single day. But we love it more when we make it rain. We I feel like also when you line your lips, it's harder to make a mistake. I mean, it's super easy when you're lining during the lining to make a mistake, but like after you just stay in the line. It's a little dry now, so I'm going to coat it with the gloss. This is the Shane Dawson gloss with F. Jeffree Star. So overall, I'm quite satisfied with um, all of the products. I absolutely love this Tardy Pro palette. I will definitely try to use this more this month. This, not really sure if it did anything. This Prime Essence, I would have preferred the primer, but it's nice. I really, really like this Tula Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Definitely cooling. And honestly, I can already see more brightness under my eyes. Yes, I am wearing makeup, but like normally I would still have a little bit of darkness under there, like dark circles, but I feel like this lightened it up. I have fried. These brushes are very nice. I would never pay $55 for fried brushes. That's insane. <laughs> I'm also very cheap. Keep that in mind. But yeah, um, I do like these brushes. Ooh, charcoal infused bristles. Did not know that. Um, super soft brushes. I really enjoyed putting them on my face. Another thing I liked, I do like these lip liners. I totally feel like these colors are perfect for me. I definitely have a lot of lipsticks that will go great with these. So super happy about these. And that was really the only other things I've tried today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, make sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post. And comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to